Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up an account on Espernet IRC chat and uh, go ahead and get it set up and uh, join any channels that you would want to join. Uh, so the first step, um, well let me explain a little bit about IRC. Basically Espernet in this case is what's called an IRC server. It's just the server that houses all of these channels where people have chat rooms or the channels are chat rooms and you can register accounts and chat just like anything else. IRC is very very old. It's been around for a long time and there's a reason for that in that it's extremely simple and seems to be really reliable and there's probably a lot of other reasons. Anyway, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, get an IRC client which is just a program that can handle getting on the chat rooms. Uh, the one I actually use is called Pigeon. It's probably the easiest to get set up uh, but there are much more um, I guess you could say professional ones or more advanced ones uh, because IRC can get a little complex um, just with all the server commands and stuff and if you want to run your own channel and all that it might be better to get one of the more advanced programs but if all you want to do is sign on and chat then I recommend Pigeon and you can get that from www.pigeon.im you just download the newest version, install it and you should be good to go now once you get Pigeon up and running, what you're going to need to do is go to Accounts, do Manage Accounts, and when you first start it up it'll probably bring up an actual uh, wizard that'll lead you through adding your first account. You can see I've got a bunch added already here, but I'm just going to go ahead and hit Add. And uh, your protocol, you want to choose IRC, they'll have the two little chat bubbles on top of each other. Username you're going to leave blank for now server, in this case we're going to type irc.espert.net uh, one of the more popular ones is freenode, irc.freenode.net uh, that one's got a lot of different channels for uh, lots of Linux support things and uh, things along those lines pretty much anything really um, one that I frequent, uh, an Android chat room Android chat is, uh, is on freenode Anyway, uh, for now you don't have a username and password, so you're going to leave those blank. And that's actually all you want to set up. <laughs> so, uh, actually, uh, go ahead and put in a username. This will be whatever you want it to be, um, but preferably something that's likely not registered. In this case, I'm going to put in, uh, oh, Google Gobble. So it's probably not taken. Okay. And that's all you need to do at first. So you just hit add. And you can see down here on the bottom of your buddy list that it's saying connecting. And now it says available. Now you don't see anything up here yet because you don't have uh, any chats open or anything. Uh, so what you have to do is click on buddies, add a chat. And uh, in this case, I'm making this for people uh, trying to connect to the bucket chat room, uh, which is a Minecraft server software. Um, so you want to hit add chat and for the, pr the account you want to make sure you choose your your uh, Esper account here and you're going to do channel bucket and that's it, that's all you have to do. You can tell it to auto join when you connect to Pigeon and remain in the chat after you close the window meaning if you open it again you'll see all the, the log backed uh, commands that happened while you weren't in there um, but yeah that's all you have to do and now you can open this and it will open up a window here if you double click on it and you will see that there's a topic here and on the right hand side you can see a user list now if you try and say something oh, and it actually worked okay so technically that's all you have to do but what you really want to do is register your username and how you do that uh, that basically makes it so that nobody else can steal it and certain chat rooms require you to be registered so that you're uh, your identity is kind of verified with an email address. Um, so how you do that, and it's a little complex, but I'll put it in the uh, video description, is you type in slash msg, and you have to do this from some sort of chat room window, or you could technically send a message directly to uh, nick serve, that's capital N, capital S, or I don't know if that actually matters, but nick serve, N-I-C-K-S-E-R-V, and then you want to type register, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter so you can see that it gives you a, see it opened up a separate tab here and it gives you a syntax of how, how you have to say the command. So it says register password email. Now I can type in slash msg nickserve again. 
but actually since I'm in this particular window, since I'm in the, the private message to Nick serve, I don't actually have to type that first part. But the command is register, caps don't actually matter, and then you want to type in a password that you need, or that you want to set up for the account, and then you want to type in uh, your email address. And obviously this is fake, but then you hit enter and it'll tell you that they've sent you an email with a verification command and basically you'll just type that command, you'll copy and paste it into either one of these windows and as soon as you do that you're now registered but what you're going to have to do then is actually authenticate and really the easiest way to do that you can either set it up inside of the the IRC account once you've, once you've actually uh, typed in that command in the email you can do this uh, you can go to accounts, manage account, it'll open this window, you choose the uh, the account that we set up earlier and hit modify and actually before you can do this you have to uncheck that box that will disconnect you and then you can do modify and now you see you still have your username but now you have password so you can type in whatever your password was so I'm actually going to go ahead and sign in this myself so you can see how the authentication works You can, you can tell it to remember your password and then you probably also want to go under the advanced tab and type in your username there and for real name you don't have to put anything there but if you want to you can uh, so I'm going to put Wacom Alt here now how this works uh, each username like as soon as you register that's your username but you can have different nicknames as well and uh, if you type in a command um, message nick serve and group after you've changed your nickname it'll assign that nickname to your account so technically you could have a different name here where it says username and then a different one here where this one says username but I don't recommend having to worry about that just yet anywho so once I've typed in my registered username and my registered password just hit save and I'll check this little checkbox again so that it signs back on it's basically online offline or enabled disabled and you see now it's connecting and I get a message that says first it tells me that the nickname is registered and then it says that I am now registered because it typed in the password for me automatically because I had to set up in the accounts so anyway now if I go here I am actually registered and also uh, specifically the minecraft chat uh, if you do slash join minecraft if you were to join this without being authenticated by typing in your password and having registered it would not allow you to send messages to the channel they've actually locked it out to anyone who's not authenticated anyway that's how you connect to the bucket IRC using Pigeon uh, you can use this to connect to any IRC chat room on any server um, if you wanted to add another server here you just do manage accounts add choose IRC as a protocol whack a mod or whatever name you would eventually want and for the server you'd put in whatever the server is and you'd go through the whole process again basically but uh, I'll put the commands in the video description and that should be all that you need to know to connect to the bucket chat room and do whatever you want to do or any chat room for that matter so have a good day